so in this video we are going to learn that what is actually the importance of working distance while we are performing the retinoscopy while we are performing the cycloplegic refraction so this playlist is about the retinoscopy and in the last video we have discussed we have a detailed explanation regarding the drugs we have discussed in the last video about the anticholinergic drugs like the atropine like the cyclopentolate like uh, the tropicamide and midratex as well like uh, the phenylephrine and now and you know that these drugs are very important like atropine like cyclopentolate these drugs are very important in cycloplegic refraction to dilate the pupil and to relax the accommodation after both of these procedures like if I am going to see the retina, if I am going to see the reflex in the retina while we are performing the retinoscopy, the pupil should be dilated, right? So I can see the posterior segment, the retina very easily, right? And the accommodation of the patient should be at rest, right? The accommodation of the patient should be paralyzed. So in both of these conditions, I can perform my retinoscopy, I can perform my cycloplegic refraction very accurately. So now there is an another factor which is very very important which is very very essential uh, while performing the retinoscopy while performing the cycloplegic refraction as well and that is called the working distance what is actually the working distance while we are performing retinoscopy the working distance is actually you know the working distance is actually the distance between the patient and the observer and the clinician right this is called the working distance and you know that there is a fixed working distance in cycloplegic refraction in retinoscopy and that fixed working distance is more or less 67 centimeter right the distance between the patient if i want to perform the retinoscopy of a patient so i'm a clinician i am an optometrist so distance between a patient and the optometrist should be 67 centimeter if i'm doing retinoscopy from this distance so my patient should be at 67 centimeter away from that retinoscope right this is called the working distance so as i said the working distance is a fixed value and that should be 67 centimeter it can vary the working distance can vary as well uh, it can be less than 67 centimeter it can be more than 67 centimeter so more or less the working distance depends on the normal length of an arm of a human right so my length is actually more or less the 67 centimeter so i can perform retinoscopy at my arm length so this is 67 centimeter so i can perform retinoscopy at my arm length because the length of my arm is 67 centimeter but there is an other point you have to keep it in mind and that is if you reduce the distance from 67 centimeter and if you increase the distance from 67 centimeter then it will affect your resultant net retinoscopy it will vary it will change your prescription right so you have to be very careful while you're performing retinoscopy that your distance should be at 67 centimeter and as i said if you reduce if you go closer to the patient then your prescription will be altered if you go away from the patient then your prescription will be altered so you have to be caref careful while you are pre performing retinoscopy that your distance should be 67 centimeter and one thing if you want to change the distance between the patient and the optometrist if you want to go closer to the patient if you want to go away from the patient right and at that specific point you want to perform your retinoscopy then you have to measure that distance while you are performing the retinoscopy at 67 centimeter or you go closer like at 65 centimeter or you can say at 60 centimeter or you performing retinoscopy if someone has the longer length of his arm of her arm and he is or she is performing retinoscopy from the distance increase than or more than the 67 centimeter then he or she should measure that distance and that specific distance should be converted into dioptric form and that and then that dioptric form will deduct from the neutral points of the retinoscopy so both of these important factors like uh, the last one which is drugs cycloplegic 
drugs like the atropine if you use atropine and if you use cyclopentolate we have discussed about the dioptric allowance of these specific drugs as we have discussed that the dioptric allowance of the atropine was one diopter right if you use atropine as cycloplegic drug then you have to deduct one diopter from the neutral points of the retinoscope of the retinoscopy right and if you use cyclopentolate and you know that if you recall the last video then if you use cyclopentolate then the dioptric allowance of the cyclopentolate was 0.75 diopters or somehow uh, according to some authors it, it is 0.5 diopters right so you have to deduct, deduct that 0.5 diopter from the neutral points of the retinoscopic values from the neutral point values and like this if you talk about the working distance you know that we are performing the retinoscopy we are performing the cycloplegic refraction at 67 centimeter right so 67 centimeter should be converted into dioptric form and then those dioptric values will be deducted from the neutral points of the retinoscopic values and now we will prove these logical things on whiteboard so as i have mentioned that the distance which is called the working distance in the cycloplegic refraction or at the retinoscopy should be 67 centimeter i can write it here the distance should be 67 centimeter right that distance is called the working distance while we perform the cycloplegic refraction i have repeated many times right so now we have as i said we have to deduct this working distance from the neutral points of the retinoscopic values right so first we will shortly will explain can explain about the working sorry about the neutral points right you have know about the movements while we perform the retinoscopy while we perform the cycloplegic refraction if i perform retinoscopy if i on my retinoscopy and see reflex in my patient's pupil right so that specific reflex in the patient's pupil will show the status of refraction in the patient's eye either the patient is hyperopic or the patient is myopic or the patient is astigmatic so how would we know that patient is myopic or hyperopic or astigmatic with the movement in the pupil so we are unable to deduct this 67 centimeter from the neutral points because the unit of this value is in centimeter and i am unable to deduct this centimeter from the dioptric value so for that i have to convert this 67 centimeter into dioptric form for that we have a formula d is equal to 1 over f we have to take reciprocal of the distance so d it means d means the dioptric value the power of the diopters right and we will take reciprocal of the distance f mean distance and you know that the distance is 67 centimeter so d is equal to 1 over 67 centimeter so now we will have to we will convert 67 centimeter into meters we will change the unit right so for this if i write 100 over 67 centimeter then it will convert it into meters right so now the answer would be 1.49 diopters and we can write it 1.50 diopters so now we have converted the centimeter into dioptric form 67 centimeter is equal to 1.5 diopters i can write it for you 67 centimeter is equal to 1.5 diopters so we have converted 67 centimeter into 1.5 diopters so now we can deduct these dioptric value of working distance from the neutral points of the retinoscopic values so we have learned about that how to convert a centimeter value into dioptric value right so we have two important factors the one is working distance and other is cycloplegic
drugs right so the working distance was 67 cm which is converted into diopteric form and cycloplegic drugs depends that uh, what kind of drugs we have used uh, either we use the atropine or we we are using the cyclopentolate and both of these drugs have different diopteric allowance right as we have discussed in the last video that the diopteric allowance of atropine was one diopters and for uh, the cyclopentolate there was plus 0 0.75 and some author says 0 0.5 right you can use both of them you can use 0.75 if you want and if you want 0.5 both are equal both are right right both are fine so we have two different factors in the cycloplegic refraction first one is 67 centimeter which is working distance and second one is cycloplegic drug so both of these values the 1.5 diopters and the effect of cycloplegic drugs if you use atropine then one diopter and if you use cyclopentolate then 0.5 or 0.75 diopter so for the conclusion of the final net retinoscopic values you have to deduct both of these values including working distance and the cycloplegic drugs you have to deduct both of these dioptric values from the neutral points of the cycloplegic values so we have proved that we have to deduct the working distance from the neutral points we have to deduct the effect of the cycloplegic drugs from the neutral points of the retinoscopic values right this is proven suppose if someone do not want to deduct both of these values from the neutral points then what will happen right as we know that the working distance from the retinoscope and the patient is 67 centimeter and if you are not going to deduct the working distance from the neutral points you can but at one condition then you have to wear your glasses at 67 centimeter can you wear your glasses at 67 centimeter i think no absolutely not right so that's why you have to deduct that dioptric value of the working distance from the neutral points because you are not going to wear your glasses at this distance at 67 centimeter right so you have to deduct the working distance value the working distance dioptric value from the neutral points and now if you use the atropine the cycloplegic drugs atropine uh, while performing the retinoscopy or while performing the cycloplegic refraction but you did not deduct the effect of atropine which is one diopter from the neutral points then what will happen so it means if you did not deduct one diopter of atropine effect then when you will wear your new pair of glasses then you have to wear the cyclopent sorry the cycloplegic drugs which is atropine you have to wear atropine all the time in your eye then your glasses will be fine and you know that nobody can put atropine in her or in his eye all the time so if you want to put your atropine in your eye all the time and if you want to wear your glasses at 67 centimeter if you want you wear your spectacles at 67 centimeter then there is no need to deduct working distance and cycloplegic effect from the neutral points but if you want to wear your glasses at your spectacle plane at normal vertex distance and if you not going to put atropine all the time then you have to deduct both of these values from your neutral points because we are performing the cycloplegic refraction at nearest point which is 67 centimeter so the light rays which are going from retinoscopy to the fundus of the patient those light rays are not parallel those light rays are diverging light rays right so we have to deduct the effect of the working distance after converting it into the dioptric form
hope this is clear and in the next videos we will come with the more informative and conceptual videos regarding retinoscopy